Tonight, fire continues to burn in four counties, destroying homes and properties. Mandatory evacuations in place across Southern California. Resources being stretched thin tonight. Good evening. Welcome to Fox News at 10. I'm Alex Michaels. And I'm Christine Devine. Thanks for being with us. Three fires we're talking about here burning across Southern California. The situation dangerous, prompting evacuation orders. We are tracking the bridge fire, the line fire, and the airport fire. We have team coverage. Matthew Seedorf and Chelsea Edwards are on the fire lines. We begin with our chief meteorologist, Adam Kruger. Adam. And our heat wave really taking its toll on the vegetation, and that's why these fires are growing so rapidly. We've seen the numbers really jump up a lot just this evening. It's not that the winds are that big of an issue, but again, just very, very dry vegetation, low humidity, a little bit of a breeze in some spots. So we mentioned those three fires, and we have an air quality alert for all areas in gray. That's no surprise because of all the smoke in the air. Now, of the three that I mentioned, it's the bridge fire that lies in this area right here where there's a fire weather warning that extends into tomorrow. This is where winds could gust up up to 40 miles per hour and the relative humidity could be 5 to 15 percent in this area as well. So again, that's going to make maybe conditions worse in that particular spot. But still, we have the dry vegetation everywhere and anywhere there's a fire. It's spreading pretty rapidly. Now we're going to look closer at the wind forecast coming up a little bit later on. But let's look at our temperatures now. This is another big weather story for us. It has substantially cooled down. It's more than 20 degrees cooler right now in downtown L.A. than it was at this time yesterday. Some people come in here from their dinner break saying, hey, it's a little look cool outside all of a sudden and we got the 60s out there now in many spots now as we look at temperatures tomorrow we're going to see temps falling below normal for a change and we're going to see a lot more of that to come we'll be talking more about it coming up all right adam thank you so much for that talk about these fires here more than 32,000 acres have burned in the line fire fire crews tonight are still battling to halt the flames team coverage now with fox 11's matthew cedar he's in running springs matthew well, Christine, a lot of people with homes tonight are watching these flames very closely as this line fire continues to grow. Intense flames pushing closer to towns across San Bernardino County. The massive line fire Tuesday night growing to more than 32,000 acres. It makes me sick. I grew up here, born and raised here. Thousands of people between Highland and Big Bear under mandatory evacuations. The National Guard called in for a state of emergency. Some waiting until the final minute to pack up. Are you getting ready to leave right yeah, now? Yeah, yeah. We got the truck fired up. The air quality is so bad, I can't spend another night here. The fire right on the edge of Running Springs. Take a look at this. The truck over here is now melted, and then possibly a house destroyed. All you can see now is the chimney. So I burned down some homes? Yes. I don't know if you'll hear any more go, but when they go, they pop. They sound like a bomb. Firefighters putting out hot spots and cleaning up Red Foss check dumped over downtown Running Springs. Helicopters and planes all day making drops, trying to contain the out of control blaze. If it takes a turn this way, I won't have a choice. I'd have to leave my, my home. Diana Gomez took this picture Monday night from her home in Mintone under an evacuation warning. It's optional, but I have two giant dogs. You know, I have a German Shepherd, a pit bull, and a cat. So it's kind of, I can't just pack up and leave. It's just crazy to think that everything can be gone. Fire crews in Angeles Oaks clearing brush, making defensive space around evacuated homes. More than 2,000 firefighters trying to stop the large flames now blowing towards Big Bear. Big Bear is under a warning. Uh, if everybody there uh, has their stuff ready to go, and then if they do go into an evacuation order, we ask that they really do leave. So some good news tonight. Containment is improving now around 14 percent around uh, much of the day. It was actually at 5 percent. Reporting live tonight, Matthew Seedorf, Fox 11 News. Matthew, thank you. Tonight, the bridge fire near San Gabriel Canyon has consumed more than 34,000 acres. That's still at 0% containment. That fire started on Sunday near East Fork and Glendora Mountain Road. It's prompted numerous evacuations, including the community of Wrightwood. Firefighters have managed so far to slow that fire by dropping retardant nonstop overnight with night flying helicopters. But about 10 minutes ago, an evacuation warning for areas of San Antonio Heights and Upland. This is a live picture right now from our photojournalist Sam Dubin, who is in Wrightwood right now. Lots of roadblocks, lots of smoke, 
lots of evacuations. You see crews moving in there right now. Sam telling us that heavy winds are in place. You see flames on both sides of him. Firefighters telling Sam this is some of the worst conditions they have seen in years. You see that a worrying sight right now. There is some good news as you see some of the embers burning where near Sam is. Uh, it appears that a lot of folks are listening to the evacuation orders, but it appears that this particular structure right there, or at least the outer parts of it, are on fire right where Sam are. Um, which is why it's so important that people listen to some of these evacuation orders and get out. Uh, but a scary sight right now in, in Wrightwood. You see fire crews right there trying to protect this particular area, but they've got a lot of work to do. And the challenge when you see this situation, like where Sam is, and you see all those embers flying in all these different directions, that fire often creates its own climate and those embers can jump from place to place and set fires in multiple different directions and appears that is what's happening right now in Wrightwood. This is an area of a lot of concern. Let's listen to some of the residents from a short time ago. Take care. You got it. You got it. Right. You're safe, okay? Okay. It's going to be all right, okay? That right there is a Cal State Park Ranger offering help and some sympathy tonight as people are evacuating the town of Wrightwood. Again, that bridge fire has really exploded tonight in the Angeles National Forest. Zero containment with over 34,000 acres burned. It continues to show extreme fire behavior. And that's not the only fire. Our team coverage continues now with the airport fire, which is being described as an immediate threat to life. Fox 11's Chelsea Edwards live for us tonight in Lake Elsinore. You can see it behind you. Chelsea, it looks like things there have really exploded. Yeah, Alex, things are moving fast. These flames really progressing forward. So as you mentioned, we're in Lake Elsinore. So we're standing on Highway 74, Ortega Highway, just near Grand Avenue. But take a look at these flames at the top of this ridge. We've been watching this for about an hour, and they are getting closer. A lot of looky-loos out here as well, just assessing when they are going to leave and at what point they're going to leave. Now, there are homes at the top of that ridge. Not clear how many have burned yet, but we have seen some go up in flames. And as you mentioned, this has quickly exploded inside. We're at now more than 19,000 acres with 0% containment. We've also just learned that five firefighters have been hurt while battling this blaze, as have two civilians. And now we've seen some flames at the top of that ridge that have hit at least 100 feet, consuming large trees and brush, and again, some homes as well. Take a look at this video. Explosion after explosion as flames rip through a property off Ortega Highway airport fire burned from Orange County into Riverside County. This isn't right. It looks like the apocalypse. As flames exploded across Highway 74 and through the mountains, firefighters quickly evacuated people in the fire's path and tried to save homes. The flames started Monday in Tribuco Canyon near a field for remote controlled airplanes, accidentally sparked by Publix Works employees. The fire quickly spread east, visible to folks in Lake Elsinore within 24 hours. It's just scary, you know, it jumped from one side to the other side and it's like, it's scary because we have to evacuate now, so just, it's just, it's, it's scary. And it's heartbreaking because there's people's houses up there too, so it's just sad. It's really intense just how many lives are being affected by it and I just really hope that there's a good result out of everything. This is awful. This is horrible. The air is horrible. In the Rancho Santa Margarita area, residents breathe sighs of relief, encouraged by the presence of firefighters. They've been here all night, uh, you know, on the lines on the street and really, you know, just providing us with some comfort. So, definitely. Holding our breath. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of people over on this side as well holding their breath. So you've got both sides, again, Riverside and Orange County that are both being impacted by this right now. And again, we're seeing those flames creep over this ridge and closer to the Lake Elsinore area. We've seen a lot of the fire trucks coming down this hill, down Ortega Highway, and now moving to a community that's a little bit further to the north. Uh, we can also see a glow over that ridge as well. So again, this is, has exploded in size. We're now at more than 19,000 acres, 0% containment. We're told the crews are going to come in the morning and kind of assess the damage and how many homes were lost. But again, as you saw from some of that video, there definitely have been some. This is, of course, a developing story, developing fire, one we will continue to follow. Guys.